If you want to buy all the SDUs to improve your ammo economy as well as inventory space, you're going to need a ton of money. But how are you going to farm for it in the early game? Here are a couple tips and things that I suggest to help you maximize your income and get as much money as humanly possible as fast as humanly possible. Because the first SDU for everything is only $100, I recommend buying some ammo upgrades just to get you guys a little bit more lethal and have a little bit more ammo economy. You can also buy a grenade because that's also a nice lethal thing, and you can use that for farming later. But the backpack SDU is the main thing you're going to upgrade. With three slots, you are essentially getting 300, 600, or even 3,000 more money every time you pick up gear and go to sell it. You also don't want to be in a situation where you open up two chests like this and you can't even take anything. Now this is lower level gear and both chests total is only worth about two, three thousand. But once you get into the higher levels and if things like grenade launchers or sorry rocket launchers drop, this could be five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars that you're missing out on. This is an important tip because if you have some really cheap stuff like this shield that was only $53, drop it for the higher ticket items, especially rocket launchers or even sometimes snipers, and then go back and sell. But there's a bit of a limbo here. Going back and selling at any of these different vendors is great because you get a nice boost to your inventory space, you get your money, you're good to go. But if the shop is way across the map and you're about to finish a quest or you're farming, don't do it. It's a waste of time because the higher level you are, the more valuable these items will be. So it's a bit of a dance. Yes, you want inventory space. Yes, you want to pick up every piece of gear, but don't completely neuter your leveling experience because you're focused too much on income. You'll get more money by getting better, higher level stuff. And even if you have to leave a couple of items behind, you can invest in your lost loot SDU and you can go back to Sanctuary and pick up items that got left behind. So if you leave behind a couple blue or purple or even for some crazy reason an orange legendary gun, that's okay. You can get the lost loot from Sanctuary and go and sell those. But just make sure in the early game, when you see items on the ground, pick up everything that you possibly can and then go spam sell everything and move on to the next area. This is going to be a good way to get your first few thousand and your first few upgrades for pretty much every slot and it will give you a massive advantage in the early game. Now let's talk about a couple other little things that you can do to really maximize this and really push up those numbers if you have the golden keys. A major tip that I have is when you're in fights, spam the loot button when you're near stuff. There is a lot of situations while you're in a reload animation that you can still loot chests, and it does have an animation on a lot of them, so while you're reloading, while you're running around and killing stuff, just open up all the chests in the area while you fight. Now this does take a little bit of practice, but it's a good optimization thing to get a nice amount of money while you're in the middle of engagements. If you take all of your time running around opening every single chest, there's a good chance that you're going to not really be farming efficiently, but if you can throw these little bits of farming in while you fight, it's going to go a long way to your overall economy. Now the golden chest is tricky because, well, we don't know how well it's going to scale into the endgame. In Borderlands 2 it kind of ran out of value, but in this game it might scale all the way to max level. I'm going to try to test this as I play through it, but as of right now, I do recommend opening these once in a while if you have the keys. The nice bonus is you're going to most likely replace the gear that you currently have and get upgrades, but then you can sell all of your old gear and it's a very nice boost to your overall money. Typically, you can get another upgrade or two for different ammo or even a bank slot if you do enough, and if for some reason you have a ton of these keys because you've got a friend that works at, I don't know, like GameStop or something, spam the chest. Get as many bank slots as you can by selling the gear and profit. You can also get some pretty nuts mods even early on. My final tip is pretty damn obvious. Just kill stuff. The faster you kill stuff, the more stuff you kill, the more money that will drop. The more guns that will drop, the better off you'll be. Just by playing the game, you will amass a lot of money, and there are some different tools you can do to maximize this. There are the loot tinks that you can find around the map that will drop a ton of money, and there are even grenades that, when used, will drop money from the enemies. I do recommend using them if you really, really care about your money, but for the most part, just playing the game is going to be more than enough.
That's pretty much it for me though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe for more. If you're buying Borderlands 3, use my Epic Games code MTASHED and links in the description to other my, to, well, to, to my other sponsors. I'm not editing that out. I make mistakes. It is what it is. Bye-bye.